Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video is part three of my guide to goals, and I'll be looking at using Power Automate to generate a notification when someone adds some notes or a new check-in to an existing goal. Okay, so this is going to continue on from the previous video, so part two, which is, um, we've got a link below. So in part two, we looked for the value of the goal changing, and we sent either a message to some a message to the goal owner to say you've got to go and take a, take a look at this goal, or we posted a, a message to a, a Teams chat. Now, this is the, the email that we sent to the owner of the goal, and it was really asking them here to please um, create a battle of reduction plan and add this as a check-in to the goal. Okay, so that's coming from the goal monitoring team, but it, you know, it could be a manager. Now, what I want to do is I want to automate the um, the posting of that new notes that's been added to the check-in to a team's channel. Okay, so when, when I go back in here as the owner of the goal, I've got to add a backlog reduction plan to demonstrate that I'm on top of this goal. Now, as soon as I add that in, it's going to post that plan, that information that I've added to a Teams channel. Or it could be to send an email, but in this example here, I'm going to post it to a chat in a Teams channel. So let's crack on and we'll get this set up. Okay, so I'm back in here um, for Power Automate and I'm going to go and create a new flow. It's going to be an automated cloud flow because we we'll want this to be monitoring for these check-ins and for these notes every day or every every so often and the description is going to be check goal for check-ins okay and in here we're going to just actually skip that for just now so we can go and search for the the triggered action here which is going to be if i type in check check-in okay when someone adds or edits a goal check-in. Now, what this will do is it will check for somebody adding or editing a goal check-in. And what, we're, what that means is if anybody adds a note to an existing check-in, then that will also trigger this flow here. So we'll just add in the, the workspace, the scorecard info and the goal ID. We did this in the previous videos. Okay, we'll change this to 300. Then we're gonna add a new step. So as soon as this gets triggered, we're going to go and get the goal information. Okay, so we're going to go and get the goal. And that's going to be handy if we need to integrate the target and the current value, which we are going to add to the, the team's message. Okay, so the next step is to go and to get the check-in information. So there's a few options, well two options here, if I just type in check in. So we've got the option here, we can actually create a check in, um, update a check in, but the, the options here we've got is to get goal check ins or get goal check in. Okay, so there, there are two, the two distinct um, options here. Now this one here is what we're, we're interested in. Very quickly, each goal can only have one check in per day but each check-in can have multiple notes associated with it, okay? So what we're going to do is, we're, if I try and create a new check-in, it's going to tell me that you've selected a date with an existing check-in, and we're just going to, if we do put a new value in here, it's just going to override the existing one. So what we're going to do is, um, cancel that, and just, just so you can see, note one, Note 2, you can see that it is possible to add multiple notes in here. So what I want to do is I want to get a check-in for a specific date. And if I go into this get check-in, uh, get check-in here, it's going to go give us the usual stuff to actually locate the actual goal itself. But also we need the date. Okay, so let's fill this in. Okay, now the date is going to be an expression and it's going to be the current date. Okay, so I want the the, the, the most recent check-in. Okay, now if somebody does actually um, edit or add a check-in and backdate the check-in or update a check-in, a previous check-in, then this will get triggered, but it's not going to return anything. Okay, because there's not going to be anything on this particular date. And that's fine, because I only want the check-in that's been added in this particular day 
if there has been one added. Okay, there won't be a checking added every day, and if there isn't a checking added, then this is obviously not going to trigger. But if it does trigger, we only want the most recent one. Now, because this is actually running um, every five minutes, as long as it's running once a day, at least once a day, then it's going to get the most recent check-in that's actually been added or edited. If it's an edited check-in for this particular day that the um, that the flow runs in. So hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Now, once we've got that check-in information, what we're going to do is, this is where we're going to start to go and create a message and craft a message. So look at the next step. We've done this before. If you've watched one of the previous videos, we're going to post a message to a chat or channel. Now we're going to post it as ourselves, the user that's logged in, and we're going to post it to a channel. Okay, it's going to be asking us which team we want to post this to, the work team, and it's going to ask us which channel, and I'm going to put it to the backlog reporting channel. Okay, because this is a backlog report that we're going to add in here. And then we can start to build this message up. Okay, so let's go and add some information. Okay, a check-in has been added or note check-in has been added or notes added for this goal name. Okay, so the first thing is we can add in the check-in note text. Okay, the contents of the note. Now, as soon as I add that in, it's added and applies to each. Okay, so for each check-in, there could be multiple notes. So that's going to mean that this is going to be um, this message is going to be sent for each note. Okay, so if there's one note, then you'll get this message with the note contents in it. If there's two notes, then you'll get two messages, one with the first note's contents and one with the second note's contents. The next thing I want to add in is some information related to the goal. Okay, okay. If we scroll down here, we can see the current goal value and the current goal target. Okay, so I'm going to put in here. value the target is go target okay so just just a little bit of information a few typos to, to fix here okay so this is going to say a check-in has been added for this goal name the details are as follows so we're going to add in the check-in notes and we're going to add in the goal value and we're going to add in the target target value so let us save that and we are ready for testing. So I'm going to click on this test button here and we're going to test it manually. And it's asking us to add some check-ins or add some notes. So let's go back into here. And we've already got two notes here, but let's add in a... Uh, let's delete these, actually. Okay, and let's add in a note here for the backlog reduction plan. Okay, there are two work orders due to be completed today with a further three tomorrow. The value should be below the 10 by the end, by the 3rd of May. And we'll just save that. Okay, so we've made an update there. So let's go back in here. And we can see that's kicked in. This is running just now. And we can see it has run successfully. So it's gone and triggered because we actually saved or added that note into the goal. So it picked up the, the goal had been edited. It went and got the goal information. It went and got the check-in information and we've now constructed a message here that has all that information embedded in it and that's been posted to our Teams channel. So let's go into our Teams channel and we posted it to Batlog Reporting and here it is here. Okay, these are the examples I created earlier but the check-in has been added for the critical Batlog. The details are as follows. There are two workers due to be completed by the day, by today. A further three to mother, the values should be below 10 by the 3rd of May. Okay, so the value is 14, the target is 10. So that is um, how we've added some information to our check-in as requested because it's going over the target and that information has been posted to our team's channel so that a manager can look at that and say, right, okay, fine, somebody's on top of this particular goal here and it looks like it's going to be back on track by in the next couple of days. Okay, so hopefully you can see how useful it can be to create these mini automated workflows and um, I'm join them together. So we've set up the goals. If a goal goes overdue, we get an email notification or a message in Teams to say you've got to go and have a look at that. 
and um, if we have got a plan to reduce the the goal or increase the goal depending on which goal it is but in this example here it was backlog so we reduce the backlog then um, we can add that as a check-in so that that's there as some um, some information and some narrative related to the goal and then that information can then be posted to a team's chat so that a manager can go and pick it up and they can be assured that you're on top of the in control and on top of this particular KPI. So hopefully you found this useful hopefully you've got some ideas about how you might want to implement this in your organisation and if you found it useful, as always, it's appreciated if you could give the video a thumbs up and a like. And um, if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then hit the subscribe button. So apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.